Hey everyone, welcome back to Medicam YouTube. If you're new here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon for instant and regular updates. For further details and reading materials, check out the description section below and please leave a thoughtful comment in the comment section. Let's dive right in. Today we're talking about a jaw-dropping topic, oral myosis, also known as oral maggot infestation. This rare and horrifying condition occurs when fly larvae or maggots invade and feed on the living tissues in the mouth. Yep, you heard that right. So what causes this unsettling condition? Let's break it down. First up, uh, poor oral hygiene. Well, inadequate oral hygiene can attract flies, particularly if there are open sores or wounds in the mouth. Next, decaying teeth. Carious teeth and necrotic tissues provide an ideal environment for flies to lay eggs mag. Third, compromised immune system. Those with weakened immune systems, such as individuals with chronic illnesses or elderly patients, are more susceptible. Fourth, oral ulcers. Open wounds or ulcers in the mouth can attract flies. And finally, neglected dental care. Lack of regular dental checkups and treatments can lead to conditions favorable for fly infestations. Now let's talk treatment. The primary method is manual removal. This involves the mechanical extraction of larvae using forceps. Definitely not for the faint-hearted. Next day, oral hygiene improvement. Maintaining excellent oral hygiene is crucial to prevent recurrence. This means regular brushing, flossing, and using antiseptic mouthwash. Then we have wound care. Proper care and cleaning of any oral wounds or ulcers is essential to prevent fly attraction. In some cases, medication might be needed. Antibiotics can be prescribed to treat secondary bacterial infections. And of course, dental care. Treating underlying dental issues like caries or periodontal disease is vital to eliminate potential breeding grounds for flies. Lastly, there are topical applications. Using antiseptic or antiparasitic solutions to clean the affected area can prevent further infestation. Remember, regular dental visits and maintaining good oral hygiene practices are key in preventing oral myosis. So, there you have it. Oral myosis, its causes and how to treat it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Medicam YouTube. Hit that bell icon for more fascinating medical content and updates. Until next time, take care and keep those teeth clean.